<laughs> hey Scorpios, look, I've had a day. I don't know about you, I've had a day. Um, welcome to your weekly love reading, <laughs> January 7th to the 13th. I really hope you guys are doing good and hope you guys are doing better than me. I did all my work last night that I was supposed to, to get grounded and ready to take on the day today. And I woke up feeling amazing. I did it. I was ready to take it on. Nothing was going to stop me. I was going to get all these videos done and I wasn't going to let this energy get to me. And then all of a sudden it was one thing after another, after another. And it's like, Okay, I know you're testing me. It's like I know you're testing me, universe. You're not. You're not gonna make me. You're not. I'm not. I'm. I'm good. I'm not. Not up. <laughs> and then there I go. I snapped. I did. I snapped. My Scorpio stinger was out, and it was swinging. Um, tried really hard to not let that happen, but there were just so many things that were happening that were just out of left field, and more so than out of left field, but just plain down disrespectful, that and inconsiderate. And I know my scorps. I know how you feel about stuff like that. So I know you can relate. So that's why I'm venting to you guys. <laughs> <coughs> um, so those of you waiting on the Capricorn and Taurus videos, they're done. But I'm not sure I want to make them public yet. Because when I was doing them, a couple of those things were going on. And I kind of lost my shit. Um, so that being said, I didn't exactly end those readings on the greatest of energy. They're good readings. They're good readings. They're very lengthy. Um, but I just feel like they could be better. So I'm 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 hoping I have time to redo them. But that's the thing, guys. So when I do a weekly video for YouTube, I do one for Patreon too. It's a lot of videos. Okay, so try to wrap that in. I know it's a lot to try to think about, right? And because of this crazy energy, we're carrying this energy into next week. So this energy is showing up in your readings because you're gonna start the week out with this crazy energy. I know. Aren't you already exhausted? I know, I'm tired. <laughs> But every reading's been super intense. That's why every reading's been so long. Every reading's been like 40 minutes to an hour. I know, I know, I know. And I, you know I do long videos, but I don't usually go that long for the weeklies. It's because there's so much going on for everybody, okay? And so, uh, I did Capricorn and Taurus and they're so long and I'm just like, God, I put so much effort into that. Do I really want to redo four hours of just filming work? Not even the pre-shuffling work or the uploading work. It's like just the filming work was four hours alone. Um, so that being said, if you're waiting on Capricorn and Taurus, <clears throat> give it a couple days, no matter what, you're going to get a reading, um, cause at least one's, you know, at least option A is done, but I really would like to redo them again if I get a chance. Okay. If it happens, it happens. If it doesn't, it doesn't. I got to start putting more boundaries for myself with what I'm, I'm giving cause I'm a giver. I'm, I am. I just can't help it. And I like helping you guys. And it's, it really warms my heart when I, when you guys reach out. And, and I see that it's been helpful for you. So that's why I like to really, you know, put the right amount of effort in. And if something's not done right, it really bothers me. Okay. So anyway, that being said, I've been a crazy person today. And I did all the work I was supposed to do so that I wouldn't be a crazy person. So before this video, I had to redo all that work. And now here I am behind again. <laughs> it just is what it is, Scorps. But I know you guys can understand my fellow Scorps. So that's why I'm like, I can tell you guys, it's okay. <laughs> you guys, you guys could totally sympathize with me. Anyway, I really wasn't looking for sympathy. I just kind of had to get it off my chest and I felt more, most comfortable doing that with my Scorpios, okay? So let's get to your reading, okay? Because I did say some really good stuff, but Clyde, Clyde, hold on guys, I'm sorry. Sorry about that. My animals have been acting crazy too with all this crazy energy. I love them, but it's like, they're, they've been a little nuts, so. So let's talk about your reading. So in the pre-shuffle, I saw the world card. I got so excited. I was like, yes, my Scorpios need it. My Scorpios need it. Like, forget that I'm a Scorpio. I always take myself out of the readings anyway. Don't even worry about that. <clears throat> but I know you guys have been going through it. I know. I know. And believe me, the Scorpio readings actually have not been resonating with me personally. So I know it's not even my stuff. But yeah, the world card out was like, oh, thank God. Um, <laughs> I know you guys are just, you know. It's been shitty. It's been a shitty time. But I did also see the Page of Swords and the Page of Cups, which is really awesome. So I think someone might be offering you something that leads to that, or you get a message that leads to that. <clears throat> so let's see where this goes, okay? <clears throat> Sorry, I had a major coughing fit, too, before this video. Um, those of you new to my channel, I got a cough thing. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. I really appreciate all the suggestions. I really do. I just get so tired of talking about it so tired of talking about it. I've talked about it my whole life, honest to God, and because people are so baffled, and I just, I just get tired of talking about it, so just promise, just trust me when I say I'm aware, and I've 
been through the gambit of things to get rid of it, okay? <laughs> All right. Goes without saying, guys, this is a general love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Messages will not resonate with everybody. Messages come through for those who need to hear it, okay? That sometimes that's you and sometimes it's not. And if it's not, nothing wrong with that. Um, we are working with energy. So messages can be vice versa. They could pertain to you, your partner, someone in your immediate environment, someone you spend a lot of time with, basically, or think of a lot, spend a lot of time thinking about. Um, <clears throat> Uh, don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Everyone is masculine and feminine energy, okay? All right. Yeah, I got to the point today where, like, my stinger was out. <laughs> it was out, and it was stinging a lot. <laughs> it was it was bad. It was bad. You don't want to see me that way. Like I said, I'm a Scorpio, but I also have Scorpio placements elsewhere in my chart. I got a lot of Scorp going on. And, yeah. Yeah. You just don't want to see me that way. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love? <clears throat> January 7th to the 13th. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love? January 7th to the 13th. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love? Ooh. January 7th to the 13th. Okay, that feels really good. Okay, we got two cards out. Oh, oh. Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the sun. Interesting. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love? January 7th to the 13th. Wow, talking about that raised my blood pressure. It was like, ooh, I feel all hot all of a sudden. <laughs> Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love? January 7th to the 13th. Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love? January 7th to the 13th. <sighs> Any messages from us Scorpios regarding love? January 7th to the 13th. Oh, any, anybody waiting for the energy shift reading? I did do it this morning because I actually remembered to record the my uh, prep work for my decks before I start any readings for the day. And we did get some stuff again for that energy shift. And I did a tarot reading on it. So it's uploading right now. Any messages? It's just going to take a long time because it's a long video. Any messages from my Scorpios? Ooh, you guys got base of wands regarding love. Any messages from my Scorpio? Oh, 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 okay, okay. <laughs> Clyde. Do you hear him? He's like, what? Clyde, get down. Give me a second, guys. I'm sorry. Clyde, come on. Get down. Oh, Clyde. Okay. <sighs> Knocking all kinds of stuff over. All right, so you got eight cards. Overall energy. Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Capricorn energy. Could also be Virgo or Taurus. It's like, when is it going to focus? <laughs> or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So Queen of Pentacles in reverse, not the greatest energy. <clears throat> Struggling to use your intuition. Which Scorpios, I know you have. I know you guys have that. But for some reason, it's a struggle for the week. It's probably because this energy is fucking with you. Um, <laughs> just saying. But it's more than that. It's more than that. Something's... <sighs> something not necessarily flipped your world upside down i know you've already gone through that phase of whatever has put you here i don't know why i feel like big bump and then a little bump like boop and then boop i don't know what that's about like you got through the big hump and now it's like there's a little hurdle that you maybe didn't expect that you have to get over <clears throat> that's how it's feeling it's like you went through like you saw the mount that's what it is you you saw the hurdle of the mountain and you're like ah oh, shit all right i can do this and so you went over that and you're like there's another one <laughs> it's got it's kind of how it feels so we have ten of pentacles with the sun leo energy as a pair that came out then we have uh knight of pentacles in reverse virgo energy could also be capricorn taurus or aries leo sag Ace of Wands. I know, that's awesome, right? I love seeing that. I love seeing that. Then we have the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. 
Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy, could also be Aquarius or Libra or Aries Leo Sag. Then we have the Hermit, Virgo energy. And then we have the Ten of Wands. Eh, I'm not liking it. I'm not liking it. And it's interesting because I don't even think, I don't even think much of this is your actual energy. I actually think this is everything you're thinking about. I think this is everything that you're just trying to tap into your intuition about. I think you've been presented with a problem. It feels whatever, whatever it is, it feels like a problem, a problem, a predicament. It's not even like a situation. Well, of course it is a situation, but I don't mean it's like, you're not like thinking of someone and like what they did and you're like, oh, what should I do about that? It's not that, like I feel like it's an actual problem that has arisen that you have to figure out how to get out of. But none of this is your actual energy. It's almost like, these are just all your thoughts. These are all the things that are up in your head. It's really interesting. So let's start here. Okay, with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the sun. I'm like, it was just focused. The energy has been so crazy. It's been almost impossible to focus all my cards against the camera. Um, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. That's, that's a divorce card for me personally. So if you've gone through a divorce, my condolences. I know that's really hard. Um, it basically is a death, right? It's a death of a marriage. Um, but it's also separation for me. It's like moving houses. It's separating assets. Um, even just breaking apart of foundations or family um, breakups. It could definitely relate to breakups. Financial loss. I I just keep getting split, split, split. I just saw the the numbers like fifty dash fifty. 50 50 that feels very divorce like to me i'll take half you take half mm. there's a lot of virgo energy here i don't know why my guides keep wanting me to say virgo virgo don't forget virgo don't forget virgo i'm like well no virgos wipe me in my face why would i forget virgo oh <clears throat> so scorps in the midst of all of this because it feels like, it doesn't feel like confusion, it just feels like you're, there's a lot to this problem, whatever this problem is. Again, it's not like a situation where it's just, I was dating someone, and then they did this, and I don't know what I want to, it's no, no, it's like an actual issue. It's a problem that needs to be resolved. Um, <clears throat> you're forgetting about a Virgo. Whatever that means, you're forgetting about a Virgo. Anyway, but then the Sun card is here, which tells me ultimate happiness. Ultimate happiness, ultimate freedom, balance. Wait, why is the Libra? Oh, that's weird. I just noticed there's a Libra scale right there. But there is no Libra cards here. But I was really drawn to it. You might be done with the Libra. You could be a Libra Scorp Cusper. There's something about a Libra or balancing out the scales. Oh, this could be contract related. Like maybe it's a business. I just got all big real. We'll set it out of what happened. Like, literally, almost said it. Like, uh, uh, uh. I feel like this is also, like, legal-related. And now it's gone. That's, like, the weirdest thing. Um, legal-related. I'll take half, you take half. Like, almost liquidating a business. But Because it, it leads to happiness. Whatever the splitting is, it leads to happiness, which is fantastic. Let's take a look at the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> Are some people sick who are watching me? Because I am not sick. <laughs> I am not. Uh, uh. Oh, it's freaking me out. Uh, it's like in and out. That's so weird. Clarify Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Uh, uh. <laughs> Clarify Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio, January 7th to the 13th. I don't know you could be forgetting about a Virgo. There's so much Virgo energy here. It was a message for maybe one or two Scorps. Who knows? Clarify Ten of Pentacles in reverse for my Scorpios, January 7th to the 13th. I was totally fine for most of the day before I started doing this video. I think some of you guys are sick. Clarify Ten of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> mm. 
Clarify Ten of Pentacles in reverse for my Scorpios, January 7th to the 13th. Ooh. Oh, Clarify Ten of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpios, January 7th to the 13th. What the hell? Clarify Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Scorpio, this is something you don't even know about. You're going to find out, though. You're going to find out. Wow. Okay. Overall energy for the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Ace of Wands in reverse. This is someone else. This is someone trying to come and come your way. All right underneath Ace of Wands in reverse, we have King of Wands. Leo energy could also be Aries, Sag, um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Someone's taking action. Someone wants to take serious action towards you, and I see it. I see it, okay? But they're delayed because it's like... Some of them are getting a divorce. Yeah, I think someone who has their eye on you is getting a divorce and they're going to rush into you. Like rush into you to work on something, to build something. Maybe you're sensing it. And maybe that's why you're struggling because you're like, you know something's up. You know something's coming your way, but you just can't figure out what it is. This is part of it. Someone's coming your way who's coming out of divorce, who wants to start something with you. Um, others, it's like they're they're just going through a breakup or they're just, oh, See, crazy, crazy energy. Anyway, um, others, it's like they are going through a breakup, but there is definitely a splitting of money or assets. So maybe they lived it with somebody and now they're moving out and so they're coming your way. But I don't see movement cards. Like, you know, I don't see like Eight of Wands or Cherry. I don't see cards that indicate like I'm moving spaces. Doesn't mean they're not. <clears throat> it's going to be different for everybody. But either way, someone's getting out of a situation legally, monetarily speaking, or just foundationally speaking, in order to come your way, whatever that means for you, okay? These are the four cards to clarify the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The Moon, Piscean energy, could also be Cancer. As for me as a reader, it's Cancer. And then we have the Knight of Wands. Jesus, come on, focus. Sagittarius energy could also be Aries or Leo. Lovers, Gemini energy. And then the three of pentacles. So, I mean, it's very clear. You don't see this coming. That's why the moon is here. You do not see this coming. You do not see this coming. <clears throat> Someone's coming in very quick, very passionately. To like, I just feel like swooping, swooping. Like they want to just swoop you up and then immediately start building with you. I don't know how you're going to feel about that, Scorps. But either way, it's like there's ultimate happiness and freedom attached to it for that person. Not necessarily you, but for that person. You just don't see it. You feel, you feel it. You guys feel it. You feel it, but you just don't see it coming. All right, now let's look over here. Because then we have someone who's not coming, but there's a new beginning. <laughs> uh, again, Virgo energy. <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Could also be Capricorn, Taurus. Uh, Aries, Leo, Sag. Oh, guys. <clears throat> Some of you guys are sick. I feel it. And I'm picking up on it. Um, I got a pause. I'll be right back. Ooh, Scorps. Okay. I don't know what y'all got, but I'm sorry you're sick. <laughs> Ugh, that does not feel good. Anyway, so this night when he's in reverse, he's like at a complete standstill, which is what's baffling to me because it's paired with an Ace of Wands that's like an active beginning. Like not rush, like not going towards the beginning, not going towards the beginning. Um, oh, this might be you, Scorps. This might be you. You might be hesitant. Uh, let's look at this um, Knight of Pentacles in reverse. This might be you. Because they really want it, but it's delayed because they're trying to get out of a situation. And then it's presented, but then someone completely stops. But if they really want it, there'd be no reason for them to not go for it. You know what I mean? Clarify Knight of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> For Scorpio, clarify Knight of Pentacles in reverse. For Scorpio, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio. <clears throat> January 7th to the 13th. Okay. Clarify Knight of <sighs> Pentacles in reverse. Hold on. It's a lot of cards, but we'll roll with it. That's been happening a lot for these readings. Clarify Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio, January 7th to the 13th. Okay. 
Butterfly Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify Knight of Pentacles in reverse for Scorpio. Okay. Hmm. Wow. Oh, this got interesting. Um, let me organize the cards because, like I said, it's a lot. There's that hermit again. Queen of Pentacles again, too. Ace of Wands, too. Ugh. Oh, I don't really like this energy. So, this is someone who's not coming towards you. This is what is so weird to me, because this person's rushing your way. But then, this person is at a complete standstill. This is so weird. I think this might be a different person. Some of you are dealing with two people. Some of you are dealing with two people already. What happened between last week and now? <clears throat> Some of you are dealing with a Knight of Wands. Some of you are dealing with a King of Swords. Some of you, it's the same pe same person. Some, most of you, it's just one, but some of you have two people. This is Aquarius energy. Could also be um, a Libra, Gemini. It's a lot of thinking. But in this position, this is like my selfish, narcissistic, arrogant ego card. And I sense, definitely sense a lot of ego, but it's, it's, <clears throat> it's from embarrassment. <clears throat> it's from embarrassment. They're embarrassed by something. The, they're embarrassed by something. And it's something that happened in the past. I'm just getting a lot of embarrassment. A lot of embarrassment. I don't know why, but I'm getting a lot of embarrassment. So, first two cards out, Wheel of Fortune and the Hermit. Okay, so this is equivalent to the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. And this Hermit, Virgo energy, again, um, this... Sorry. Those dogs are part of the external factor, as to earlier. Anyway. Um... So Virgo energy. So they're trying to, th this is someone who who's deciding like, oh, you know what? Maybe I do need to be alone. Maybe I do need a little bit of solitude because you know what? I just, something's not working and something needs to be closed out, but I just don't know what the truth is. I think I do need to be alone. That That's that kind of thinking. That's why they've come to a stop. It's such different energy. I'm like, how could it be the same person? But I know, I know for some of you, this is the same person. I know. But, you know, others of you, it is a different person. Absolutely. Okay, anyway, moving on. So we have the Eight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy, again, right? Queen of Cups. I mean, Queen of Pentacles. Did I say Queen of Cups? <laughs> Queen of Pentacles. Capricorn Energy could also be a Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio with the Page of Cups. <clears throat> this is your energy, Scorps. It's interesting. This is your energy, but this is not your energy. You're think this is what you're thinking about while you're in this mode. You know you want to go towards your happy, and this is what you're contemplating. You're contemplating how to do it. You're con yeah, you're contemplating how to do it. That's why this person stopped coming your way because you retreated into hermit mode. You were like, no, I need space. I need to be alone. I need to figure out some truth about some shit, especially if this is the same person. Um, for those of you where this is a new person, you're just overwhelmed. Right. So you have one person coming in fast as the Knight of Wands, which with the lovers, they could be a Gemini or a Sag or they could just be, you know, a, a deep, deep soul connection for you, whether that's a soulmate or a twin. Um, very, very. There's a deep bond there. I feel it. There's a deep bond there. And for some of you, this person comes in and then overwhelms you because they're so passionate and you're like, I need to think. Others of you, you're dealing with that person that you don't see coming, who's getting out of like a divorce situation or legal situation of some kind, disintegrating assets, liquidating assets, whatever. And then you have this King of Swords, who's a little egotistical, who is also who's also trying to come at you, but immediately stops because you're like you retreat. It's almost like you just like retreat. It, you just retreat to just get away and like just to get your head straight is kind of what it seems like to me. Yeah, some of you got two, some of you got one. So anyway. So you're in hermit mode. You're like, you know what? I need some space. So you go in, you seek out the truth. This queen of pentacles is like, all the kings or queens who are in this position in this deck are seeking. 
this person is seeking their own happiness. This person is seeking out what's going to make me the most abundant. What's going to make me the most happy? Who could be like my possible perfect partner is kind of what this person thinks because the Queen of Pentacles is a nurturer and she is a spouse. She is committed. You know what I mean? She likes to be the Earth Mother. Not the ultimate Earth Mother because that's the Empress, but this is somebody who does a lot of hard work. This is somebody who takes care of the home and is very, very nurturing. Very nurturing. Um, and you want your happy, but that's why you have your back turned because you're in solitude and you're thinking about this person who is attached to the King of Swords. Again, for some of you, it's the same as the Knight. Others of you, it's a different person. <clears throat> this person has a lot of trouble with emotion. I'll tell you that right now. They have a lot of trouble showing emotion. They have a lot of trouble giving emotion. They find, and it's hard for them because it makes them feel vulnerable and they do not like to feel vulnerable. They don't like it. It makes them feel scared. It makes them feel like it's not safe. So they probably grew up in a, in a home where they were overly criticized or they were abused or something of that nature. And then we have these three. The three of pentacles with the ace of wands again. <laughs> Do we have two? We have three. We have three ace of wands here. This one is equivalent to the ace of wands upright to this one. But remember, it's delayed over here because some of you have two separate people. Others of you, it's like it's mostly a delay because they're getting out of that situation. But some of you, are these are two different people. Okay, anyway, reining it back in. So this Three of Pentacles, you're realizing that you want your own beginning, Scorpio. You're like, you know what? I do deserve a passionate beginning. That's what I want. And you're speaking your truth. That's what I want. That's what I deserve. And I'm ready to build with somebody. This is someone realizing that they need to build with somebody. I know it's so out of focus. I don't know why they won't focus at all. This is someone who's already working with somebody. This is someone flying solo wanting to work with somebody. Seeking out a, someone to work with, someone to build with. And then we get this Four of Pentacles and then the Star card, Aquarian Energy. This is really interesting to me. So Scorps, it's almost like someone can't let go of their wish, but they're lost. And I don't think this is your energy. I actually think that's this person. Again, it could be if you're dealing with one person, it's the same as the Knight of Wands who's coming in really quickly to swoop you up. And you're just like, no. <laughs> Others, you have the Knight game like, hey, hey, let me let me swoop you up and take care of you and have fun with you. And then you have this person, very egotistical. You have a, his you have a history with this person. This is not a new person. You have a history with this, with this King of Swords, without a doubt. And this is how they're feeling. They can't let go of you. But yet at the same time, they're lost and they're clinging on to this this destiny and they feel like it's something that's supposed to be granted like it's just been something that's supposed to happen that's how they feel they're like how are we not supposed to be together but at the same time this is someone you know who's coming back around so it's like it didn't work before so no wonder you're hesitant sorry i just got really hot um <clears throat> so yeah so no wonder you're hesitant because it's like you're full of ego and you're selfish and you're coming back around trying to like make this happen and you think we're meant to be all of a sudden. Why do you think all of a sudden we're meant to be? That's kind of what you're going to tell this person, especially if they're different from the Knight of Wands because the Knight of Wands is like, it's passionate. And yes, I know it's known as the player card, but I don't sense player because there's a three of pentacles there. They want to build with you too. That's why some of you, this is the same person. Others of you, I know you got two people. I feel it. All right. <clears throat> Moving on into the last line. Sorry, I know this video is kind of long. Wheel of Fortune in reverse. With the Knight of Swords in reverse, Gemini energy could also be Aquarius, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sag. Hermit again, Virgo energy. And then Ten of Wands. It's very similar to all this energy that I've already just described. I mean, you have two of the same cards. Um, there's drama here, though. The Knight of Swords in reverse. That's my drama card. And you know something's got to be fixed. Something's got to close out of the situation. Let's look at the Knight of Swords in reverse. No. No, let's look at the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. That's, that'll help. That'll tell us more. We'll look at the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. I'm feeling very warm. Sorry. I think I'm just picking up on you guys. Are you guys in bed watching me sick? <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll use this deck. No, we'll use, no, we'll use the Gilded Tarot. We'll use the Gilded Tarot. <clears throat> Clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. From us Scorpios, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. From us Scorpios, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. From us Scorpios, 
January 7th to the 13th. Wow, hold on. Tower moment. Not a Scorpio reading without a tower moment. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right, clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for my Scorpios, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for my Scorpios, January 7th to the 13th. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune in reverse for my Scorpios, January... Oh, jeez. Hold on a second, guys. Okay. January 7th to the 13th. Just didn't want to lose all the cards that were stacked, you know, in a stack together. Clarify Wheel of Fortune in reverse for my Scorpios, January 7th. To the 13th. Clarify Wheel of Fortune in reverse for Scorpios, January 7th to the 13th. Scorpios, I think you're being watched. I don't know why I feel that way. I don't see watching cards, but I feel it. I don't know if it's this knight or if it's this king of swords or if it's, you know, if they're one and the same, it's the one person. But you're being watched. Just, I feel it. You're being watched. Not in a stalker way, just like, you know, checking up on you on social media, taking the long way home, that sort of thing. <clears throat> okay. Ugh. Ugh, I don't like it. Overall energy. Ace of Cups in reverse for the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So yeah, there's, this is about a new offer of love that is somehow not happening. But once it happens, it just seems like Everything is going to turn over. But you got one person from your past, who, at the very least one person from your past, who can't let go of you, who thinks that you're meant to be. Like, literally, they think they're meant to be, even though they they weren't with you right before this. It's like something went awry, but now all of a sudden they think that you're meant to be. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and then you have this knight, who's really trying to swoop you up. But I feel like it's the same person for a lot of you, but for those of you dealing with two people, the knight feels... Even though he's a knight of wands, there's something gentle about it. There's something really soft about it. This feels abrasive. This person feels a little rough. But then this person feels kind of soft. It feels nice. Like, I wouldn't be very... I personally would not be hesitant by a knight, by this energy that I'm feeling if that came towards me. But don't worry, this is not my story. Um, but yeah, I just there's something about them that feels soft. So I have the Tower in reverse, Scorpio energy, and then Eight of Swords in reverse. So something happened that's releasing you, Scorpio, which is awesome. Uh, it's releasing it's releasing you from all this craziness. High Priestess in reverse, Piscean energy could also be Gemini. Nine of Wands. Four of Wands in reverse. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. And then Nine of Swords. Oof. Secrets came out. These are, uh, yeah, these are, uh, these are different energies. Yeah, it's like you're almost trying to just reconcile all of this shit in your head of like, what do I do about this? Um, and here's what's going to happen, Scorps. You're going to get some information. It definitely feels like a big ass secret. It's a big ass secret. Whatever it is, it feels big. It feels big. Oh, it's regarding this person. It's regarding this King of Swords. It's regarding that King of Swords. It's almost like they're going to tell you something that you just would never have expected. Something that changes your perspective because you put it, get put into the Nine of Swords moment. When it's like, you're, you know, going from a queen of pentacles in reverse, where it's like, I'm just trying to tap into my intuition to all of a sudden you're in a nine of swords by the end of it. That's got to be big. Because the queen of pentacles, even when she's in reverse, she's calm. She's calm. This person's not calm. Um, but you find out something big. It's going to be different for all of you. I'm trying to like see if I, I can pick up. What is Scorpio going to find out? Oh, I don't want to go there. Oh, um, I'm not trying to make you guys nervous. Some of it's some of it's a little more minor than other stuff that I'm picking up. But like the worst thing I picked up, I heard baby. 
not worse I mean that's not a bad thing but I don't know whose baby it is it's like that's the thing um baby I just got baby maybe they just want you to be the baby I don't be their baby I don't know anyway but with this nine of wands, it's like fighting for something, trying to fight for something. But this is a broken connection, a broken. I'm just getting broken family, broken family. I think someone cheated something or other. Um, yeah, because we still got that divorce situation I forgot about. And then trying to temper your anxiety about it. You're trying you're trying to find the patience. You're trying to find the patience because whatever the secret is that you found out, it's making you want to fight for this connection. Whatever this connection is, it's making you want to fight for it because it's something that you wouldn't have expected. It's something you wouldn't have expected and you're like, oh shit, maybe I do want this fucker. I don't know. I don't know. It's like you you really don't know. Okay. Then we have Hermit in reverse, Virgo energy. Six of Wands in reverse. Knight of Cups, Piscean energy. Could also be Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sag. And then Four of Pentacles. Okay. So you come out of Hermit mode. You come out of your thinking, your contemplation of like, I don't know what to do with this information. Literally, some of you are like, I don't know what to do with this information. <laughs> You're really overwhelmed. This person really overwhelmed you. And then you know, and some of you have two people who's who have overwhelmed you. And then the six of wands in reverse. It's like, you feel like there's something's not being recognized. Regarding this knight of cups, who I believe is this person. Because they're attached to the four pentacles. Their, their heart chakra is closed off. Um, you feel like they're not really recognizing the reality of this situation is what I'm getting. It's almost like you're looking at them like, you just told me this big secret. You just told me all this information. Again, most of you, it's not a baby. Don't worry. <laughs> most of you, it is not a baby. Um, you know, it can be anywhere from a third part. <coughs> Sorry. From a third party to... Like, you didn't, like, they kept a secret job from you. Um, I was getting that, like, a secret job. I don't know what that's about. Um, secret job, secret person. It's just, like, that's how it's coming to me. Secret job or a secret person. Like, you just found out something about them that completely changes your perspective of the, of the problem at hand. Which creates another problem. So you spend all this time trying to think about it. Living in the Nine of Swords moment, which is not cool. Coming out of this hermit mode... Feeling like they still don't get it, like the severity. That's just what I'm feeling, that they don't understand the severity. They're coming in as a hopeless romantic, even though they're full of ego. They, they just, they don't understand reality. This person lives in, lives with their heads in the cloud, I think. Because their heart chakra is so closed off that it's like, how can you be a knight of cups if your heart chakra is closed off? You can't. Plain and simple, you can't. You just can't. Um, I think you're going to call them out on their shit. Like, to be honest, I think you're going to be like, how can you act like that with what's going on? And they're going to play it off because they're still this person. They don't really understand how to deal with emotions. And you're Scorpios. <laughs> it's your bread and butter. Yeah, it's like you're just, you just feel like this person does not understand the severity of the situation that they just put you in. They don't understand what they're asking of you. They, they just, they don't understand. They don't live in reality. This person does not live in reality. But that's why you're in hermit mode, right? Because this, I just clarified the Wheel of Fortune, right? So it causes drama. And then you go into hermit mode and it's like, you're so stressed. And that's not cool. That's not cool. So like you come out of this situation just really calling them out and like saying, you know what, like you don't get it. Like you really just don't fucking get it. I want to be with you. I do want to make this work, but you just don't understand. Oh, okay. Let's pull romance angel cards and see where this is, you know, where this is going or what else we can understand from this connection. Any messages from my Scorpios, January 7th to the 13th regarding this reading? Any messages from my Scorpios? January 7th to the 13th regarding this reading but they still think like you are, you two are meant to be that's exactly what they think like, they literally think you were a gift from the from the heavens quite literally I know that sounds fantastical but I, I feel it and I know that's what this person's thinking or this energy I guess I should say this energy that's how this energy is feeling <clears throat> any messages from my Scorpios January 7th 
to the 13th. Any messages from my Scorpios? January 7th to the 13th. Any messages from my Scorpios? January 7th to the 13th. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. It's a fat stack. <laughs> I was like, oh my god. Any messages from my Scorpios regarding this reading? This is just too many cards. Um, I'll take this one that I can see because this is another fat stack that I'm just like, I don't know about that. Any messages from my Scorpios? Chemistry is out here though. That's my twin flame card. <clears throat> Any messages from my Scorpios regarding this reading? Any messages from my Scorpios regarding this reading? Oh, that's an interesting overall energy. All right, so let me lay these out, because like I said, there's a lot going on here. Oh, wait a minute. What? Oh, my God. Yeah, some of you have another person. Some of you have two people. And it's crazy because, like I said, that one who's, like, softer, the Knight of Wands. Remember? Hold on. Let me pull these cards, because I'm sure you don't remember. Sorry, guys. The one that you really don't see coming, that's my twin flame card in, in this deck. And you will not believe the energy attached to that twin flame energy. Because like I said, some of you, it's a different person. Others of you, it is the same person. So please, you know, take this as it resonates. But those of you where there's, you have two people, a king of swords and a knight of wands. The knight of wands just makes the offer. You just don't see it coming because they're getting out of some divorce situation or some kind of legality situation. And they come in wanting to work with you. But that's all I feel with their energy. That's it for that other person. And like I said, it feels soft. It feels tender. This other person feels abrasive. And you have a rough history with them. So let's start with them. And again, if you have the same person, if it's one person, then all these messages are for you. You got it? One, one person, all these messages are for you. Two people, I'm reading the King of Swords first. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. I don't think it's like you don't love them. I think you both really care about each other. It's just this person's got a lot of growing to do. They got a lot of growing to do. They have codependence. There's some codependency issues. They got some addictions. They got a lot of ego in the way. Um, they're just not very healthy. And I don't feel like they're healthy coming out of it, like all the way to the end of your reading. And you kind of, and you know it. You know it. You're like, you just don't get it. <laughs> like, you know it. You know that they just don't get it. So unrequited love is like, they just can't give you as much as you can give them in relation to emotion and love. They just can't. They can't. So if you want that kind of union, if you're okay with that, that's on, that's up to you. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Um, but they do. They are very codependent. They are very codependent. Now, if this is one person for you, there's a lot of amazing cards here. So if you want to be with this person, these are the things you're going to have to battle. I'm just letting you know. I'm not saying to not be with this person. What I am saying is that if you want, if you decide to be with this person, there's amazing things in store. However, this is what you have to overcome. That's up to you if you want to do that. Okay? Okay. Now these next cards. This is like what really overwhelmed me. Oh my God, where do I start? Um, I'll start with the fat stack. I will start with the fat stack. Okay. You ready? New love. A new person has sturdy romantic feelings. Now, all these energies are the Knight of Wands, but again, if it's the same person for you, the one person, you're only dealing with one, it's all the same. New love. If it's the same person, they're trying to start something new with you. You know that. But again, Knight of Wands, hey, hey, hey. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Past life. You've definitely had past lives before. This, this, this is a soul contract no matter which way you cut it. If you're just not the Knight of Wands, just the King of Swords, or both, it's a, it's, it's a soul contract. Now, the let your friends help you. You guys know how I feel about this card. <laughs> be careful who you talk to. You are going to be in a lot of contemplation, but the fact that you're in hermit mode tells me you're actually not going to be reaching out to people. So this is saying, you know, reach out. But again, be very careful who you reach out to. People have biases. Your friends are biased. They love you and they don't like anybody who's ever hurt you. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? So just to keep that in mind. 
I also get the sense that this Knight of Wands is like, it might be a friend. It might be an acquaintance. Because like I said, you do not see it coming. And they're just trying to get out of whatever they're getting out of to be with you. Hmm. Hmm. Could be a friend. Because this is also my friend card if you're dealing with a friend person. Um, yeah, I, I feel like some of you have a fringe friend who's trying to get romantic with you, whether you're, you don't know it. Some of you cannot see it. It's unknown to you. Some of you really can't see it coming. So start thinking about that. And remember, I got, did I get the, this message here? You're forgetting about a Virgo? Did I get that here? Yeah, yeah, you're forgetting about a Virgo. Yeah, might be Virgo. Okay, trust. The situation's calling for you to have faith. I think this is regarding trust issues. I think whether you're accepting the Knight of Wands or it's this one person for you, regardless, you've been through some shit and you're having issues trusting that's what this is saying. It's like, I know it's hard. I know it's hard to trust, but you got to kind of open that door a little bit. Pay attention to the red flags. This is about signs. Hands down, just signs and synchronicities. It's also about red flags with this person. If you're dealing with the two people and it's like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Pay, it's just saying pay attention. Like, look up above the crowd, scan Look for signs, look for little clues. Like, I mean, you know this person. Actually, you know, you know both of them. If you're dealing with two people, you know them. Um, so just pay extra attention to their body language, what they say, how they say things. You know, if they've really changed, you, you would know right off the bat. If they haven't, you would also know. Then we have, ah, oh, crap, really? <laughs> I gotta stitch this video. See, all of them are so long. This could be the one and passion. There's a lot of lust here. A lot. Mm. Mm. Yum. I really like it. I really like it. Yeah. I'll allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That's sex. That's sex all day. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Whether it's the Knight of Wands or the King of Swords. Or if it's the one in the like one in the same, you know? This could be the one. Are you ready for these last two cards? I don't think you're ready. Take a breath. <laughs> Take a breath, Scorp. Chemistry and wedding. My twin flame card. My marriage card, of course. Um, to me, when this comes out, I'm also usually like, oh, maybe you're going to a wedding. Maybe you met at a wedding. There's no denying what this card is about in this situation. It's in indicating that one of these people is your life partner. One of them is your life partner. Um, if it's this one person, they're a potential life partner. You can, again, <clears throat> sorry. I know. <laughs> Nuts. Regardless of whether it's the same person or not, there is potential for a life partnership here. But remember, if it's the same person, these are the things you're going to have to overcome with them. You're going to have to help them through these issues. I don't know how you feel about that. But those on the twin flame journey know what it's about. And remember, even if it's presented to you, even if you get that chance to get a twin flame and do that twin flame thing... Make sure you really ask yourself, is this what I really want? Because I'll tell you, soulmates, hell of a lot easier. Overall energy, honeymoon. This is a travel card. This is a dist distance card. So maybe, you know, you'd actually have to travel to see them. Maybe they're traveling right now or traveling during that week. Maybe you're going to go on a trip. Um, but then there was wedding and honeymoon. I don't know. I don't think you're going to get hitched like in a weekend unless you go to Vegas or something like that. And the, hey, and if you do, please let me know because that'd be so cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, anyway, yeah, there's 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 um emotional distance without a doubt here between you and this King of Swords, emotional distance and you retreat to the hermit mode. You know what I mean? But I do think that there is some travel very very possible very very plausible to have some travel um i think you actually are happy with distance from this person i think that's why you even though you're overwhelmed and that sends you into hermit mode you kind of prefer to be there in this situation it's just too overwhelming for you it's just too overwhelming for you Whew. okay scorps god everyone's going through it um i hope you guys take it easy and relax i'm gonna relax after this video because i'm 
this reading was overwhelming too. All the readings have been so overwhelming. It's going to take me every single day this week to get all the weeklies done. I just know it. And I started early too. Thank goodness I did. Um, but please take care, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later. Bye.